morning. Please listen up for the midday announcements. Attention anyone interested in joining the musical for 2021. We are auditioning for Misbehaving in the 20s, January 25th through the 29th on stage in the auditorium. If you are interested in making friends in music this year, please pick up an audition packet and sign up in room 234. Thank you. tomorrow so we can all enjoy them no problem that's enough for everybody dig in thank you for bringing these cookies carter they're my favorite um they remind me of when i was a kid 
What, did your parents feed you cookies that tasted like cardboard too? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Next! Okay, let's all join hands, everyone. Just the sleeves, that's gross. Um, <laughs> there you go. Okay, can we all just take a moment to realize how special this moment is? Look around and realize that we may never be just like this in a circle ever again. And I just want you all to know how much I love and respect you all. So go out there and give them your best. I do realize this is just a dance audition, right? Cookie? Okay. Alrighty guys, let's see what you guys can do. Wow, that was good. Back to the hall of you all. Send in the number one for the auditions. Hi, I'm first. Hey, Sweet Cheeks. Uh, could you please send on the X for your audition? Thanks. Uh, can you tell us your name, grade, and the part you're interested in? Hi, my name's Grace Fletcher. I'm in 10th grade, and I'll be saying happy birthday. Um, I'm really interested in dancing. I don't really care if I get a part. I just honestly want to be in the chorus, but most importantly, I want to dance. Perfect. This show has a lot of dance. Oh, I know. I have taken ballet, jazz, and hip hop for 11 years. I hope to go to college for dance and after I graduate, open my own studio. I love solo competition. I've won best personality five times. That's great. Do you want some cookies? Oh no, those are horrible. See, right? Bro, what do you mean? These things are delicious. So, Grace, are you interested in becoming a dance captain? Oh, what I what do I have to do? Oh my gosh, I love you. You remind me of a young me. Okay, so all you have to do is write a short letter explaining why you'd be a good dance captain and we'll definitely consider you for the role. I'll have that to you by the night. I promise, he won't regret this. We, we didn't even hear her sing. What if she can't even hold a pitch? So what's the matter? We just put her up in the front, keep her away from the mics, so it'll be fine. This is a musical. You know that, right? Hi, I'm number two. <laughs> uh, I'm number two. Get it? Because I'm number two. Wow. Hey, is this food for us? No. No. Yes. Feel free to help yourself. Thanks, love bug. Uh, could you be sure to step on the X for your audition? Thanks. Can you tell us your name, grade, um, and the part you're interested in? Uh, wait, part? Oh, no, I was just walking to robotics and saw the door was open and I came in. Grace asked me if I was number two and here I was. You do know this is an audition for the musical, right? The what? No, I wasn't gonna try for the, uh, uh Can you sing? Uh. uh Go to the piano. Mrs. Purling, can you play some notes in his range and see if he can match them? Send in the real number two. Erin, 
I'm in 12th grade and I'm singing By the Light of the Silvery Moon and I'm trying out for Polly, uh, but I didn't expect this. I'm really nervous. I can feel my hands sweating. Oh, that's all right, honey. Let me give you a hug. No, COVID. You know, I remember when I used to get nervous too. It's just a thought that this could be our last show that we ever get to do together. And I just think we need to be there for each other. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Can I read first? I'm just gonna go get Jake. I guess I, be get, I should be getting back to the villa. I have some letters to write. Oh, do you have to go so soon? Yes, I'm afraid I must. But I'll see, so I'll see you at the ball tonight, right? I should jolly well think so. Where should I meet you? Wherever, you say. Mm, how about the Cafe Pataplune at nine o'clock? Lovely, I shall be waiting for you. It's gonna be a wonderful night, isn't it, Polly? It sure is, Tony. But it's just gonna be the first of many wonderful nights, isn't it? Yes, at least I expect so. <gasps> Sorry, I'm fine. Can I sing now? Sure, why not? Are you okay? This has happened before. Once I throw up, I'm fine. Okay, go ahead. Oh, that's okay, lovey, just do your best. Not the dark, but the light Of the silvery moon Not the sun, but the moon I want to smooth Not croon, but smooth To my honey all croon Love's tune Honeymoon Honeymoon, honeymoon Keep a shining in tune Your silvery beams will bring Love's dreams You know, I was helping out Tess in the bathroom with the drama. Not like the drama drama like Taylor with the... <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing could possibly happen in there with Jason the Fresh. He's going at it, you know? Oh, no worries. That's all over now. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, you know, Lucas goes in there and he goes there to vape and he makes everybody clear out so nobody snitches on him, you know? <laughs> no need to worry. I'm ready to go. So, where should I start? Okay. Um, could you be sure to step on the X for your audition? and tell us your name, grade, song, and the part you're interested in. Hi, I'm Lavender, I'm in 11th grade, and I am interested in the part of Maisie. She is such a free spirit. I just, I love her unbridled desire to be who she is and with whom she wants to be. And uh, speaking of which, Mrs. Johnson, um, who was that in your car with you at the Applebee's parking lot last night? I was with my parents and I swear I saw someone in your car with you. Um, that's enough. I'm Miss Johnson. I'm not married. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Secret safe with me. So, what will you be singing? I'll be singing Ain't Misbehavin'. If it's alright with you, I would love to do the scene just before it. Go ahead. Jake and Mason! Hi. Don't know. No one's ever met him. Hey, I just had a funny thought. You see, I always suspected that Brownbeard was some average Joe in disguise. Someone right under our noses. Someone like you. Me. But nah, you can never run a racket this size. You'd have to work for a living. Oh, I've read about people who work for a living. <laughs> yeah, well, nighty night, boss.
Love you. I love you too. McGee! That sounded like gunfire. McGee! Jump move! Oh, it's a girl! And I've got a gun! It's a girl with a gun! And this girl knows how to use it! <laughs> Hands up! It's it's not loaded! No, I should have guessed. Ah, I lied! Oh, holy mackerel, it's Gertie! It's your pack and a pistol! Oh, well, sorry. I just had to make sure this was your bedroom. Oh, I understand. Wait, no, I don't. Why would you want to break into my bedroom? To show you this! Sway the hips, sway the hips, bat the eyelashes, bat the eyelashes, shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, seduction, seductive. There's something wrong with your shoulder? That was great, but I thought you were auditioning for Maisie. Do you have a scene prepared for her? Oh, oh, oh my god, yeah, I, I do, I totally do. Parker! In here, now! Are we ready? Maisie, Maisie, here you are at last. I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, have you really? I've been dancing with my friends, Dulcie and Faye. Just Dulcie and Faye? Are you sure there wasn't anyone else? Mm, what if there was? Not like it would matter. I wish you'd choose me. Uh, well, I have chosen you, but... Keep in mind, I, I'm only 17. I want to live. But you promised to say only true to me. Um, are you ready for your song? No one to talk with all by myself. Gumdrop, um, could you step on the X for your audition and tell us your name, grade, song, and the part you're interested in? Um, my name is Jamie. I'm fishing for Reno. I'm going to sing House of the Rising Sun. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What's your name? Jamie. What? My name is Jamie. And uh, what are you singing? I'm auditioning for Reno. What? I'm singing House of the Rising Sun. I'm auditioning for the part of Reno. You know that she has a very tough and loud character, and she needs to have quite a big personality? Yeah, yes, yeah, ma'am, yes. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, I'd like to, can I read first? I'm sorry, what'd you say? It, that's okay. Okay. Ready when you are, honey that way. You know, I love the expressions you Americans use. I'm making a collection of them. Just a moment. 
To feel that way about a person means to rub his neck. Oh, do tell me some others. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, you send me. I send things to you? Damn it, Abby, you know what I mean. One look at you and I get hot pants. Do you really? Or would a bit of ice do you any good? Evie, that means I like it you. It means you like me! Hot pants! How perfectly devastating. Most racy language, the Americans. Hot pants. I don't think I'm gay through- Look, you are a man, right? Yeah. I am a woman. Man. Woman. You. And me. Quite! But what does that have to do with us? A hell of a lot. I mean, you excite me. I excite you. How perfectly marvel. Aha! What's going on here? Hey, wait a minute, Moonface. No, so this is what I find. You beast. You despoiler of innocent girlhood. Look at this poor child. Her clothes torn off by your fiendish attack. Standing there in her nakedness. No, nothing's wrong. No ruderies. Everything's strictly on the up and up. There's something wrong here. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. Anyways, I just... God, I think you're the beast knees. What's going on here? You beast! You stand there in your nakedness! Your clothes torn off in a fiendish attack on this innocent child! Well, wait a minute. No, stand back! I'll not permit this British lion to twist American womanhood by the tail! Do you think your girlfriend will marry you after this? And don't think she won't know because I'm going to tell her! Oh, do tell her. Only make it a bit thicker. She's always complaining that I lack fervor. You don't get the idea! And be sure to call me a beast, won't you? I rather like that one. Uh, you don't mind, Miss Sweeney? A beast? Yes, wait a minute. You're not taking the right attitude. You should be frightened. Go on, get scared. This is a serious business. I happen to be a dangerous man. Come, come, Madre. You're an old dear and you know it. There's something wrong here. I'll prove to you that I'm a desperate character. No, do you mind waiting a minute? Now wait right here. I won't be long. I say, do you know what's wrong with the little fellow? <sighs> All right. Listen, Effie, I really go for you. And I suppose... I could give you the lowdown, even if it means that uh, I have to take the rap myself. He was supposed to burst in here and catch us in a clinch, and well, you didn't clinch. Oh, do you mean he thought I'd make love to you? That was my idea when I came in here. Oh, that is exciting. You mean you- What is going on here? You see, now I guess you realize how serious this is. Hey, wait a minute, Mupis. Why are you trying to pull the gun down? It's all right, Padre. You thought I would take advantage of Miss Sweeney, and you came to her rescue. And I admire you for it. I wish I could tell you how much I admire you, Padre. I have hot pants for you. You keep away from me or I'll shoot. Wow, that was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I'm impressed. Let's hear that song. Uh, so, just... <laughs> do you mind playing House of the Rising Sun for me, if that's okay? It... Sure. Okay. It's me.
P, um, could you be sure to step on the X for your audition and tell us your name, grade, song, and the part you're interested in? Hi, my name is Jenny. I'll be singing Delightful and trying out for the part of Roxy. Um, I'd like to start by performing the scene. <clears throat> Has anyone seen a toad? A boy named Neville's lost one. Oh, are you doing magic? Well, let's see then. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? I've only tried a few simple ones myself. For example, Oculus Reparo. Now that's better, isn't it? Holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger, and you are- Stop, what are you doing? My monologue. Yes, I can see that, but what about the scene for Roxy? Oh, I thought I could do any scene. Well, that's okay. We can get an idea of what we can do from that. Um, are you ready to sing? Uh, yes, I, do you mind I brought my own music? Do you have like a karaoke version to sing to or something? By myself? Yeah. Oh no, I could never do that by myself. Okay, well, thank you. That was delightful. Next. <laughs> being able to make people laugh that we've uh, gotten very close with each other. And thankfully I got the chance to get closer with all the like directors, especially like Mrs. Cerny with reporting. I really like the dances, I just think they're fun. It, it was pretty fun and it, I think it turned out well. I needed some normality in my life and this seemed close to that. Tis a gift to calm down where we are to be. My favorite part was probably seeing what interesting things you'd have us do next. I think it was really funny when we would all get all keyed up and ready to go and the speaker would cut out halfway through. I mean, I'm just glad that's happening. <laughs> well, they actually aren't brats. They're really cool people and I love getting to know them. You know me, I don't like drama. <laughs> Whereas this, it just feels very relaxed. So we were allowed to mess up and it wouldn't be a big deal, <laughs> which was really nice for me. <laughs> Everyone's really nice if you get to know them. They may seem insane and crazy at first, and they are, 
but you're insane and crazy too. Messing around in between scenes mostly. I feel like the cast this year is a lot closer. Uh, definitely doing the behind the scenes work and like holding the whiteboard and having to run around and just seeing everybody's bloopers of messing up and just getting to laugh with the cast. Being able to spend more time with family. Found out they were doing this one this year. I was like, I gotta do it. These are frog earrings that I made myself. Pants for you. Welcome to rehearsal. Janie Muldoon. I was hoping you wouldn't notice that. Sorry. A maniac <laughs> talking to the camera and walking around and being extra obnoxious. I really like that I could be more involved and help out more than other years. I feel like I wouldn't have had that chance. Quiet down! Tis a gift to be simple. Tis a gift to be free. on the X for your audition <laughs> and tell us your name, grade, song, and the part you're interested in. I'm Claire. I've been waiting for weeks. I've got it all memorized, song and scene, right in here. I will be auditioning for the part of Polly, the genuine and sweet and demure and romantic. I am this part, ready to go. Can I go get my partner? Of course. Jerry! Okay, ready when you are. All right, Polly, the coast is clear. I think perhaps I get a bit better get back to the villa. I have some letters to type. Oh, do you have to go so soon? Yes, I'm afraid I must, but I'll see you at the ball tonight, won't I? I should jolly well think so. Where should I meet you? I don't know. You say. How about the Cafe Pataplume at 9 o'clock? Lovely! I shall be waiting for you! <laughs> Tonight seems like an awfully long time away. Yes, but it's only a few hours. <laughs> yes, and it's going to be a wonderful evening, isn't it, Polly? I'm sure it is, Tony. But it's just going to be the first of many wonderful evenings, isn't it? Yes! At least, I expect so. Oh, Tony, I really must go! Polly? Yes? Will you, would you kiss me goodbye? Yes! At least, if you want me to. Oh, gosh. What's the matter? That was fabulous. Um, broadly emotional. Are you ready to sing? Yes. I prepared the song and the scene before this. Um, can I go get my friend? Of course. Awesome, thank you. I'm like, come on. Over here. <laughs> All right, 
Game's over. What game? Where'd you put all the liquor? I threw it out. It's in the trash. I poured it out. The bottles are in the bin. You poured it out. I'm done with this. What? You want some, you can get some yourself. Don't hand me that. Just go get me some wine. Look at yourself. No, where are you going? I'm getting away from you. tell me her friends will tell me too girl that boy you're fooling with he ain't no good for you but that's all right that's all right that's all right now mama anyway you do this ain't all right with mama this ain't all right that's true girl that boy you're fooling with he ain't town tomorrow what? leaving town for sure uh -uh. then you won't be bothered with me hanging around no You're more not leaving. that's all right ain't all right it's all right now mama anyway i do been working since forever i gave and gave and gave say goodbye to mama i'm going to my P, um, could you be sure to step on the X for your audition and tell us your name, grade, song, and the part you're interested in? Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a 12th grader and I'm interested in the part of Reno. I also brought extra copies of the music. Um, it's in the key of G. I know it's different from the original key of C, but um, I sing it in this key. I also have a pianist outside if it's possible, if you don't have that, if your pianist can't do it. But if not, that's totally fine too. Well, the pit arrangement is in the original key of C, and there's no way we could rewrite the entire arrangement just for you. Can you do it in C? Yeah, can you do it in C? no problem, yeah, I can do it in C. Oh, absolutely, I've practiced it in like three different keys. Also, I couldn't help but notice you have a little rasp in your voice. I brought some homemade lozenges if you want any. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Excuse me, but could I have one of those cough drops? Oh, yeah, of course, here. Sorry, I got a little excited. <laughs> Here you go. Well, just to give you guys a little background on myself, I'm 17 years old. I've been in musicals since I was three years old. Pretty much played every Disney princess out there. And I'm also practicing a musical that a local director from Newark actually is writing. And hopefully it's going to Broadway. It's on its way, but we'll see. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying out for the parts Maisie, Roxy, Polly, or Bobby. Really, any of the big parts, I felt like the other ones just weren't. Well, okay, let's begin. Alright everyone, we're gonna do another group hug, but don't touch me. Okay. Think about what it'd be like to lose something special. Your doll, your keys, your dog. 
Oh, Titi, you were such a good puppy. And to make it 15 years when you start losing your ability to walk and see, and the way you're shaking and quaking for breath when we took you to the vet. I'll never forget your eyes as you looked at me and took your last breath. Okay, so go out there and give them your best dance. <laughs> Let's see that second group of dancers. Wow, that was good. Back to the hall of you all. We're gonna do two time steps. Okay, let's see that second group of dancers. Thanks for coming everybody. You guys did great. Go back to the hall and we'll call you back in when we need you. Next! You can shred the teeth. <laughs> Hi, love bug. Are you okay? Um, could you be sure to step on the X for your audition? and tell us your name, grade, song, and the part you're interested in. Name. Would you like a hug? Let's get you feeling safe. Next! Wait, oh my god, no, no, I'm, no, 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 stop it! Hi Sunshine, um, could you be sure to step on the X for your audition? And please tell us your name, grade, song, and the part you're interested in. Hi, I'm Riley, I'm here because Jenny dragged me here and won't let me leave. Yes, no, I don't know. Great. Jenny talked me into this and I don't know what to do. Um, well, let's just start with what song you're singing. I'm, I think it's called The Blues My Na Naughty Sweetie Gives to Me. Are you interested in a part? Yeah, I'll be reading for Billy, but I would take any part. Um, I tried out for volleyball, but then I got cut, so here I am. Okay. Do you have someone to read with you? Yay! Let's hear the scene. There's my girl. Jimmy, I gotta ask you. All those pretty little things you said to me last night, were they just lies? Oh, I'd never lie to you, Gertie. Just like I know you'd never lie to me. About that, see, you know how I told you the whole truth about me last night? Well, the whole truth's only partly true. <laughs> Thank goodness you're not a wanted bootlegger felon. You see, that part's true. The not true part is my name's not Gertrude. It's Billy, Billy Bendix, and I come from a long line of nothing. I never went to no Harvard. Oh yeah, and I got a lot of gin stashed in Yasella. <laughs> Jimmy? Jimmy? Well, to tell you the truth, I suspected you never went to Harvard. You did? You see... There are no girls at Harvard. You crumb, why didn't you say something? Because I was afraid I'd never see you again. Billy, I'm not exactly certain if I have one wife or two wives, but if you promise to be my fourth or fifth wife, I, I swear you'll be the only wife I'm with for the rest of my life. Alrighty, let's hear that song. That you get from loving there are blues that you get from pain there are blues when you're lonely for your one and only the blues you can never explain there are blues that you
to get from longing for the bluest blues to be. They're the blues that I got on my mind. They're the very meanest kind. Blues my naughty sweetie gives to me. There are blues that get from woman when you see them going swimming and you haven't got a bathing suit yourself. There are blues that start a flicker when you had a lot of licking. Somebody goes and takes off the shelf. There are blues when everything's in hock When your boyfriend doesn't answer when you knock The blues you keep it getting in a taxi cab a friend And every time you hear the meter jump the clock There are blues you get from crying while your uncle will is dying And he afterwards forgets you in his will There are blues you get from kisses when you're walking with your missus And another baby shouts, hey Bill! The blues that make you wanna hop, stop, shake, shiver The blues that make you wanna end it all in a river The blues my naughty sweetie gives Amazing sunshine. Okay, thanks. Bye. You can Next. 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 Welcome sunshine. Oh, that's fine, loveys. I'm Erin Bell. I'm Melanie. My name is Janet. Brandon Reynolds. Uh, I'm Jamie Campbell. Hi, I'm Tess Lovenoy. My name is Gracie Landrigan. Uh, I'm Sarah Wendover. Well, I can't be engaged for 14 years, can I? Nathan, this is psychology. It tells you why girls do certain kinds of things. He was all set to bust in here and catch us in a clinch. That's it, you big strong brute. Have your way with me. When I have one look at you and I get hot pants. I've always wanted to be the queen of England. The girl with the gun. And this girl knows how to use it. Fine. You want to cut to the chase? Let's cut to the chase. Next. Chop, chop. Next. Hi, I'm number 27. Hey Dumplin', can you just step on the X for your audition and tell us your name, grade, song, and the part you're interested in? Hi, I'm Carly. I'm in 10th grade and I'm interested in the part of Jeannie. I've prepared a scene for the part. Hey, you look like a classy dame who's looking for a handsome fell love. And what's it to a tiny little butler like you? Nothing, but my friend over here. Ugh, sorry, not interested. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Duke. Duke? Duke of what? 
the Duke of England. What? Yes, the Duke of England. Please meet the very available Miss Jeannie Muldoon. A pleasure. Actually, a dame is just what this Duke needs. You see, if the right people die, of course, they could be the King and Queen of England. Oh my god! I've always wanted to be Queen of England. Then you two have a lot to talk about. I'll go find Billy. Bye! So tell me, Duke, looking for a duchess? That was wonderful. Are you good for taking the part of Jeannie? Um, no. I'll just stick to the chorus. But Muffin, you were wonderful! No, I really like the chorus. I don't want to have a solo or learn lines. But you could, like, really pull this off. You'd be a great Jeannie Muldoon. Thank you, but I just want to sing and be with my friends. I'll stick with the chorus. Thank you, though. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want a bigger part? Yes, thank you. Next! <laughs> Guys, it's your turn. <laughs> Is this a dance audition? No. No, is it okay if we all audition together? We go everywhere, everywhere together. together. This is supposed to be a singular audition. Oh, please, please, please. We all worked really hard in our scene with each other. Yeah, and we all have the next four audition numbers so we could all be on at once. I was here before, but I'd rather be with all my friends. Well, it would save time. I think it would be delightful. Okay. Yay! So this is the part where the girlfriends are all bragging about their boyfriends. And they all went swimming. But Polly was out for the boy they didn't know. I, I just, just love, love this part. part! Hey, let's go. I can't wait for this evening. My frock is a dream. So is mine, and rather daring too. I'm sure Madame Dubonnet will be furious. Not she. I bet you she'll turn on to something frightfully shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we shall be allowed out late? Who cares? I intend to dance the whole night through. Do you, Maisie? Who with? Anyone who asks me. Pay no attention to her, girls. She'll be up all night dancing with Bobby Van Heusen, that terribly rich and good-looking American who's staying at the Negresco. Oh, no. I shan't. He bores me. Oh, isn't she the limit? No wonder they call her Madcap Maisie. Oh, look! Here comes Polly Brown from across the tennis court. Polly, Polly Brown? Brown? Yes, and she's carrying a ladder. Hello, Polly! Oh, hello, everyone! Where have you been? We dashed into town to get our frocks for the carnival ball. We just couldn't wait until your Monsieur Gaston delivered them. Wait until you see mine, Polly. You'll adore it. Oh, be quiet, chaps. I'm sure we'll all be jealous of Polly when she gets hers. What are you going as, Polly? I'm going as Pirette. Pirette? How divine! Now, tell us your secret, Polly. What secret? If you're going as Pierrette, who will be your Pierrot? Oh, I still want that to be a secret. Oh, Polly! But I've had another letter from Paris. From Paris? How marvelous. He says he's motoring down overnight. In fact, he should be here any minute. Oh, how thrilling. And how does he sign himself? Does he say, passionately yours? Or yours adoringly? Or does he just say, with all my love? Oh, oh do, do tell, tell us about him, Polly! We have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Home, okay. Um, do you want some tissues? Uh, oh, I, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Petunia. Um, can you go step on the X for your audition and tell us your name, grade, song, and the part you're interested in? Uh, uh, hi, I'm Sydney. I have a slight head cold and a uh, little fever, but I'll be fine. Do you really think you should be here right now? Yeah, uh, I, I only get chills when the Advil wears off. I'll be fine. 
Oh dear. Okay, would you like to sing or read first? No, I'm gonna read the part for Billy first. Um, you know, when the part where she jumps in the bedroom, tries to seduce Jimmy. I really would like to do a stage kiss today, if that's all right. I've been practicing with a cantaloupe. Do you have like a victim, I mean, partner to like do this with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go get him, I'll go get him. Jake! Jake! McGee? That sounded like gunfire. McGee? Hands up! My goodness, it's a girl. And I've got a gun. It's a girl with a gun. And this girl knows how to use it. Ha ha. Not loaded. Oh, I should have guessed. I lied! Ah, ah, it's Gertie. And you're packing a pistol. Okay, ready when you are. We thought we'd go together since we already read a bunch of scenes together. Is that all right? We thought it would be easier and our songs to do wet. Oh, that's fine, loveys. Um, could you be sure to step on the X for your audition and tell us your names, grades, songs, and the part you're interested in? Well, uh, I'm Mason. Um, I'll be trying out for the part of Jimmy and I'm singing uh, Fascinating Rhythm. Hi, I'm Jake and I'm trying out for the part of Cookie. I'll also be singing Fascinating Rhythm. Uh, we also thought we'd make this our dance audition since we do a lot of movement as well. Uh, I just came from soccer practice, so sorry if I'm a little sweaty. Or a lot sweaty. Do you guys need like a bottle of water? Thanks. Cookies? Oh yeah. Okay, maybe you could finish those after the audition. Shall we start? Stop! Everybody away from the store. None of you can get near the store cause, uh, cause, cause, cause why? Cause, cause the boss has something to say to all yous. 
I do? You do. You sure? I'm sure. Positive. I'm positive. Maybe I forgot. No, you didn't. I think I did. I think you didn't. I think you have something to say. You do? You do. You sure? I'm sure. Enough of this song and dance. Wait, say that again. Enough of this song and dance. That's it. Wait. Got a little rhythm, a rhythm, a rhythm. That pit a pass through my brain. So darn persistent, the day isn't distant when it'll drive me insane. Comes in the morning without any warning, then hangs around me all day. Someday I'll sneak up to it, and then I'll speak up to it. I hope it listens when I say. Fascinating rhythm, you got me on the go. Fascinating rhythm, I'm all a quiver. What a mess you're making, the neighbors want to know why I'm always shaking, just like a flipper. Each morning I get up with the sun. Start a hop and never stopping. To find at night no work has been done. I know that once it didn't matter, but now you're doing wrong when you start to patter. I'm so unhappy. Won't you take the day off, decide to run along somewhere far away off and make it snappy? Oh, how I long to be the man I used to be. Fascinating rhythm, oh, won't you stop picking on me? Got a little rhythm. Got a little rhythm, got a little rhythm, it's got me on the go, it's got me on the go, got a little rhythm, it's got me on the go, gotta go. Got a little rhythm, got a little rhythm, it's got me on the go, it's got me on the go, it's got me on the go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 go. Fascinating rhythms got me on the go, that fascinating rhythms got me on the go, that I've got the fascinating rhythm, I've got the fascinating rhythm. everything up and get the cast list by tonight and we can just figure out the details and figure it all out sounds good to me all
high school audition yes are you nervous a little bit about what um i don't i'm not sure is this better or worse than past auditions a little worse i'm not sure if you could do it over what would you like to change uh, maybe my confidence a little bit i was quite scared she'll be up all night dancing with bobby van Heusen. <laughs> high school audition or how many auditions have you attended for the academy um this is my first one and are you nervous and about what yes i am nervous because i have no idea what is happening gotcha <laughs> how did your audition go i think it went great that's good if you could do it over what would you like to change um i think i'd probably want to make myself relax a bit more Is this your first high school audition? Uh, this is my second audition. And are you nervous and about what? A little bit, just about like making sure I get my words right. Um, how did your audition go? I think it went really well. This is my third. I'm a little bit nervous, but I just enjoyed it. So how did your audition go? Pretty good, I think. <laughs> Um, what do you wish Mr. Shawman and Mrs. Cerny could do differently about auditions? I really like the way they did it. I don't think they need to change it. Is this your first high school audition? No. Are you nervous? Uh, yeah. About <laughs> uh, what? Um, you know, I get like shaky legs every time.
How did your audition go? Um, I don't know. If you could do it over, what would you like to change? Um, not shake. And are you nervous? Ah, uh, I mean, yes. The lights are definitely adding a new form of like, oh, hello, I'm already on stage. How are you doing? So it's kind of like, ah. How did your audition go? Uh, well, I mean, I think everyone was confident after the audition, but honestly, it didn't go too badly. Uh, this is my first high school audition. Are you nervous and about what? Um, I am kind of nervous, just, you know, because I've never done a high school audition before, so I don't really know what to expect. How did it go? Um, I think it went pretty well. I mean, as nervous as I can be. How did your audition go? Pretty well. <laughs> what would you like to change? I would prepare for it. This is my third. I would say all the auditions are not great because nobody likes auditioning. Welcome back! How'd your audition go? Um, I think it went really great. It is my fourth high school audition. Are you nervous and about what? Um, I'm a little bit nervous just because it's different than what auditions normally are and I'm singing a cappella. But other than yeah. that, I feel pretty good about it. How did it go? It was interesting, but not terrible. If you could do it over, what would you like to change? Not have my eyes closed <laughs> the whole time while I sing. So how did it go? Uh, I think it went pretty well. Because I was so nervous. I know I said I wasn't nervous before, but I don't know. When I got up there and there was about 15,000 lights on me, oh. it, it was pretty nerve-wracking. How many auditions have you done? One. No? Yes, one. <laughs> one. Are you nervous? Yes. About what? I might throw up. How did your audition go? Oh no, it kind of went bad. What would you change? Uh, sing the song correctly. This is not my first high school audition. I have done the musical all four years. Normal auditions are a little bit more stressful. How did your audition go? I think it went pretty well. You'll be the only yeah. wife. You'll be the only wife. I'm with. I'm with for the rest of my life. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. No. I will, I won't, I will, I won't. I will, I won't. You! What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, you didn't sign without me? I'm getting the special features thing on the DVD <laughs> nice and full. <laughs> oh, you didn't sign without me. Okay, all right. I lost my shoe. <laughs> hey, what's up, camera? <laughs>